Does the National Lotteries Commission support the march against racism and the SABC's 90% policy? How does the commission ensure that its funds benefit rural communities? What prompted the launch of the Early Childhood Development Infrastructure Project? And how does the commission fight addiction to gambling? What time is it? It's question time. Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Mpo Tseidu. The National Lotteries Commission continues to ensure that it fulfills its mandate by distributing funds aimed at the development of disadvantaged communities. Last month, the commission introduced what it calls the open call for funding applications. This means applications will be accepted throughout the year at all its offices across the country with no closing date. The commission introduced the Early Childhood Development Infrastructure Project in Litabong near Rustenbeck in the Northwest earlier this year. In partnership with the Social Development Department, the commission donated 400 million rand to 22 early childhood facilities across uh, the province. We are live and therefore you can call us and air your views. The numbers to dial is 89 -110 -4210. My guest today is Professor Nchenget Zeni Nautanda. is the chairperson of the National Lotteries Commission. Prof, thank you very much for joining us. We really appreciate you making time to talk to South Africans out there. Oh, thank you very much, Mpo. Well, before we get into the money things and all the, let's talk politics a bit. I'm seeing your your banners at anti-racism marches, the pro SABC ninety percent policies. Uh, so you are on board politics now? No, the NLC, which is the National Lotteries Commission, uh, it emerged from the the then National Lotteries Board. Yes, we are um, apolitical. We don't fund anything related to politics we don't um, allow organizations to use our funds in matches neither the logo because it is in the website if you get our logo and put it in your political gatherings uh, or the so-called um, um, anti-racism or marching against an individual or an office then you are breaching your contract because you must apply from the national lotteries commission in order to use our logo our logo is only meant to be pasted on the door of the project not uh, matching with a flag in the street uh, showing that lotteries, uh, uh, national lotteries commission is supporting this this cause we don't support such no but prof um, let's, let's let's be honest yeah? i mean i saw your your logo in in banners uh, at matches in, i mean even this week or yeah yes it was it was very much uh, uh, ignorant um, for an organization i think uh, i can divulge that i contacted uh, Teboho, uh, who apologized to say no uh, it is not a call uh, it is not a uh, the right thing and uh, I think necessary steps are going to be taken against to that organization that put the NLC into disrepute there are so many things that we can do we can even bar that organization to apply for lottery uh, you know money forever because it shows the public that we are biased whereas we need to be neutral we must, fi we must fund any member whether he or she belongs to da anc eff and whatever this is a free country so we we can't take sides okay all right that's fine i'm happy you have clarified that because we were confused but let's get into some of the things that y you're doing um perhaps let's just review some of your flagship projects Yes, uh, it, it, it is something that people don't know outside there. Mm -hmm. The National Lotteries Commission, more especially this recent years, we transformed into uh, an organization that must act first rather than to respond when people are, are marching on the street. Mm -hmm. um, we came up with uh, the idea after looking at the statistics South Africa 
we realize that education is still low in South Africa. In other words, our early childhood education mm -hmm. is at its lowest. We said the best is to invest in the early childhood education. Okay. And we put, for, uh, we put uh, 400 million in the, first, um, in the first place. But because the need was so high, the money is above half a billion that we have already invested in the uh, in the provinces and i must tell you um the these funds every province uh, received at least more than 10 ecd centers so when you say this 22 it's not 22 we have built uh, uh, more than what we can if, if we multiply 10 by 9 provinces mm -hmm. already That's you have 90. got 90 so in other provinces is 17 in others 10 other 13 mm -hmm. and whatever and even the containers where our kids can uh, can be educated okay let's take victor victor you are in limpopo welcome uh, hello yes welcome victor uh, 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 yeah, the good man going more problem. Hey, I'm going to I got a problem with this new lottery company, whatever you may call it. Yes, the commission. Yes. Yeah, my taking is very poor. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you never know who's won, what's on on stake, and at the end of the day, I don't know where the winning goes, who's getting what. They are so much very close to themselves. I wonder who are they accountable for. At the end of the day, I don't have a problem with the professor there. Okay. But I, I can just see by the way he's saying, you saw talking about DA and all that. I don't know who's capturing him so far. I wish they just changed it to something else. The previous, the previous uh, lotto company was very transparent. They will tell you how much you win, how much who lost. And whatsoever. Okay. Isn't this uh, celebrities of, uh, you know, this, I'm talking about, uh, what is this? Sidding or whatever. Why don't you just use very poor people and give them money? Those are already rich already. For God's sake, man. Okay. This, get another company on board. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Victor, there in Mount Kueng in Limpopo. We're going to take a quick br break before Prof uh, uh, responds to that question. But indeed, if you've got a question that you want to pose to uh, Prof, please do give us a call, 89 If you want to know how the Lottery uh, Commission uh, is funding projects, we're going to talk about those only after the break. This is question time. It's more than a gift. It's capturing summer magic. Get a Galaxy S7 Edge with Tab 3 Lite Bundle for $6.99 per month on my MTN Choice Flexi 200. Plus your choice of a Gear VR or an accessory kit. The Galaxy S7 Edge, now in blue coral. It doesn't always make sense. It's easy to ignore. It's always asking questions. What if cars could drive themselves? What if we could drive on the moon? What if headlights were lasers? What if cars could run on water or even air? It's called your imagination. And if you listen to it, great things will happen. It's what we do at Audi. It's what we call Vorsprung. It's Black Friday weekend at Macro with hundreds of deals that are too big for Friday only. Get the Terrace Leisure Satin 594 Burner Gas Bry, only 2999. Save 2,000 Rand. A Hisense 220 litre fridge with top freezer, only 1899. Save 900 Rand. And the LG 55 inch Smart UHD LED TV for 999. Save 3,000 Rand. Don't miss Macro's Black Friday weekend. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Save up to 45% on selected in store and online deals. Macro, big on life.
Welcome back. You're still watching Question Time. Our number is 89 and we're taking your calls. And my guest today is Professor Nebutanda. He's the chairperson of the National Lotteries Commission. And we're talking the NLC and its projects, what it's doing out there in the communities. And uh, perhaps if you've got questions, do give us a call, Prof. Um, Dr. Victor there in Limpopo says you are not transparent. I don't know. People want to to see the the millionaires that that are winning. I guess to to be convinced that indeed this money is there. No, uh, with due respect, I respect um, what Victor said, um, mm. but I think there is a confusion. Mm. We are not the lottery operator. Yeah. The lottery operator is Ituba. Okay, it is the one that makes people to win. In other words, they are conducting lottery on behalf of the South African state. Okay. We are the regulator. We make sure that Ituba follows the correct procedure. Okay. Now, you, you, I think Victor must read the constitution. You cannot disclose people who win. <laughs> okay, hold it Otherwise, w w what happened to O.R. Trumbo International Airport? People are being hijacked okay. for the monies. Let's go to the, uh, is it uh, the Eastern Cape? Yes, Connie, Connie, you are in the Eastern Cape. Yes, I'm in the Eastern Cape. I'm trying to find out. I've been trying. I've got an NGO yes. since 2009. I've been applying for funds in National Lottery. But I was never even given 50000 But if you check on the people that are giving, you can see the Zuma family, $3 million and everything. What's going on there? Thank you very much, Connie, for the question. Prof? Uh, well, I... Uh, I, uh, I think um, National Lottery does not have eyes. You apply, and uh, for you to succeed, you must qualify. Mm. Two, two years, statements, being registered, mm -hmm. having books audited. Lucky enough is that the, the current law uh, speaks to uh, the, uh, what the lady has referred to. If you don't qualify in terms of financial statements, at least show us your management, your financial management reports. We will categorize you as a small grant uh, receiver. Okay. In other words, you can apply anything from zero to 500,000. So um, that uh, the one that maybe we look at uh, one family, I don't know. And I must clarify that the board does not adjudicate there are independent adjudicators okay. and um thanks for the dti they've given us now full-time adjudicators who will be adjudicating e almost every day okay. and as you said this open call may address what the lady has uh, alluded to okay. because we'll, we'll talk about that open call just now let's take low it low it you are in Houting. Yes, um, how are you doing? I'm well, thanks for the question, or rather for the call. Okay, also to Professor. Yes. Now my question is simple, Mpo. Yes. I just want to know, I unfortunately I came during the middle of the program. Okay. Where do I go and which steps do I need to follow if I find that there is a project which I would like to be funded by Lotto, which benefits the community and not me? Oh, thanks very much, Lowit. Indeed, where does one go? And perhaps let's just uh, go through those uh, requirements. Who qualifies for this funding? Okay. Uh, in order for you to qualify, you must be a registered uh, entity. Okay. Now, that entity must not, uh, must not be a profit-making entity. Okay. It must be a non-profit organization, mm -hmm. non-profit company, community trust, not family trust like uh, say, uh, say do as uh, family trust, mm. Nebutanda's family trust. We don't fund those trusts. It must be a community-based trust. Okay. Uh, the other thing is that you must have financial records, understanding, okay. so that we can know that if we give you funds, you are able to manage uh, our funds. And previously, you have to apply when there is a call. Now, you apply any day and we've got nine provincial offices. Okay. 
you don't have to come to Pretoria. If you are in Pumalanga, you go to where the Office of National Lotteries Commission is, you drop your application. As I said, distribu distributing agencies are now full-time. In other words, the law says at least when you walk in our office and hand in the application, that application must not sit there for 150 days. We must have finalized almost everything within 150 days. In the past, the lottery was, uh, you know, uh, criticized for taking three years, oh. four years, and I agree because I found, I found those things until we come up with new ideas how we can perfect our situation. Zama, you are in the Western Cape. Good day, Paul. How are you? I'm well. Thanks for the call, but good sir. Yes. Um, Paul, I just have a one comment. Okay. That I want to make um, regarding the ECDCs that the prof mentioned. Yes. I submitted an application. I think it was last year to have about 11 crashes constructed in my village. Okay. And that was through an NPO that I'm part of. Okay. We never received any feedback. So I think my comment is just to ask them if they can please provide feedback so that as people we know where we may be going wrong in terms of our applications, information that we could be missing and stuff like that. Yes, yes. It's just, it's just a comment, Mpo. Yeah, no, I, I, I get your point. I get your point very well. Thanks very much, Zama, for that, for that point. Uh, feedback is quite important. It would assist uh, the applicants. But before we uh, continue, we need to take a quick uh, break. When we return, we will continue with this discussion. And indeed, the numbers to dial is 89 This is question time. Celebrate the holidays at Macro with big festive season savings like a Johnny Walker 18-year-old platinum label whiskey gift pack with two glasses, only 949, save 50 rand. Johnny Walker black label whiskey gift pack with two glasses, only 290, save 20 rand. And Johnny Walker's best-selling red label whiskey gift pack with one glass, only 180, save 20 rand. Share in these and other big festive savings for home, for business, for life. Only at Macro. Big on life. Welcome back. You're still watching Question Time. 89 is the number to dial. And uh, my guest today is Professor Nebdanda. He's the chairperson of the National Lotteries uh, Commission from uh, Free State. Uh, we've got Tebuho. Uh, is it Tebuho or Tebuho? Tebuho. Tebuho. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that I'm going to go to Free State. I'm going to go to Free State. I'm going to go to Free State for funding. Uh, for the charities. Uh, I think if we last week, I was check, but I go adjudication. I go fellow check. I go adjudication. Okay, that was good. They were there just wanting to find out when they say the application is in adjudication. What exactly does it mean, Prof? Okay, uh, <laughs> maybe let me start uh, by this. You hand in the application, you get the response there and there to say uh, your application has been received. Okay. Thereafter, the officials package the document because you, your document might be so big. Mm. Because of many applications, the application must be in the process of being adjudicated. What officials will do is to check whether it is a fast track decline mm -hmm. because of non compliance mm -hmm. yeah. or it is a proposed funding. But uh, people confuse this. Proposed funding doesn't mean that you got funding. Adjudicators are the ones that will that will say, oh, no, officials uh, made a proposed funding, but there are problems in this project. Therefore, you cannot be funded. So what, uh, wh wh uh, when 
when we say the, the application is in process, it means the application has been received and the application has been processed in terms of contacting your accountants. Because, Mpo, we get a lot of lies. <laughs> People mention accountants which are not there. People uh, cook financial statements. And you know, to do that, it is very wrong. So we need to contact whether you have s signed this, uh, the, the books. Mm -hmm. uh, we must ask a lot of questions. Even people whom you are saying you are going to do a project, some of them you find that they don't even know. That's so we true. must ask in the community, do you know about this project? Okay. And of course we are, we are mindful of saying that Mpo might have come up with a very good project the community does not know, but we don't penalize that. So it means that if the, the application is in process, uh, it will go for adjudication. Okay. After adjudication, you receive a response to say the distributing agency has considered your yep. application. Okay. Carol, Carol, you are in uh, KZN. Um, Paul. Hi. Um, Paul, I think the, prof the professor is missing something. Okay. They have been doing this for a long time, funding a number of, of organizations. Yes. They haven't done any uh, assessment or evaluation of whether or not what they are providing or funding is going through the right, the right processes. We have put up a process, we have put up a proposal there to just do an evaluation around KZN of all the ECD structures that are there. You remember that in Paul last year there was a, a scandal in KZN where somebody left the kids to look after themselves. Yes. When you, you're near funding such a lot of money, you need to do an evaluation on an ongoing going basis. And I'm sure the professor would want to know where the funding where the funding is going to, whether the funding is used for the right thing. I hear what he's saying, but I think my biggest challenge is that have you ever sat down and evaluated where you're funding and whether your funding is going to do the right things? Carol, I know. Yes. thank you very much for that question. I think it's loud and clear, Prof. Yeah, no, it's very, uh, we've got a um, uh, MNE, Monitoring and Evaluation. This ECD uh, center project, they've gone to every province to identify in order to get an ecd center uh, project you must have the land we can't just give you on some on, on somebody's land okay. you must have your own land so they've done that uh, there are many projects that we'll talk about uh, the boreholes we did a feasibility studies mm -hmm. we we know the provinces that needed water what, more than the what, others. what is the purpose there with bowls but, uh, to 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 alleviate shortage of water in oh, okay. in the country, okay, and we've we've built more than two hundred bowls. These are stories that people don't talk about. Uh, some of them they apply, but when it comes to say, no, I got it from Mpo, they don't say it. They can rather put another emblem on that bowl, not lottery. Now, Prof, we've run out of time, but you intervened in one. Uh, not only one. Number one, we intervened in ECD centers. Number two, we intervened in the two universities, Northern Cape and Pumalanga. We are investing uh, more than 50 million there. In other words, the two provinces, okay. uh, 27 and oh. 22. Okay. Uh, we also looked at what is happening around Vuani. Mm -hmm. We have built a school that matches the state of the art they were having only 13 classrooms they when they when they when they bent down yeah. when they destroyed it an up an application was received by the nlc mm -hmm. and the nlc provided uh 25 million for bafama the secondary school the school is having 25 classrooms very neat and it was built in two months prof let me thank you very much for the time and continue with the good work and uh, indeed give people feedback where they are saying they were not hearing anything from uh, yes. the NLC. Yes. Thank you very much. That was question time for today. A big thank you to my guest and to you for watching the show. From in the crew, you have yourself a wonderful time. I'm a hot.